Hey Cosmonology fam, today we're going to dive into one of the greatest mysteries of the universe. What happened before the Big Bang? It's a question that stumped scientists, philosophers, and even our great-great-great-grandparents, if they ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, of course. So get ready to embark on a journey to the very edge of our understanding of the cosmos. Let's start with a quick refresher on the Big Bang Theory itself. Around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe was just a tiny, unimaginably hot and dense speck. Then, in a fraction of a second, it began expanding at an incredible rate, giving birth to the universe we know and love today. It's kind of like the ultimate fireworks show, only it's been going on for billions of years, and there's no sign of stopping. But that brings us to the million dollar question, or should I say, billion year old question. What happened before the Big Bang? First up, we have quantum fluctuations. Now, this isn't a trendy new dance move, but rather the idea that our universe might have popped into existence from a state of, well, nothingness. In the strange world of quantum mechanics, particles constantly appear and disappear, like a cosmic game of whack-a-mole. The universe might just be the result of a particularly energetic whack. While the concept of quantum fluctuations arises from the principles of quantum mechanics, the idea that the universe could have emerged from such a fluctuation has been explored by various scientists, including Edward Tryon, Alexander Vilenkin, and Alan Guth. Next is eternal inflation. This is not about your money losing value forever, folks. Instead, it's the concept of our universe being just a tiny bubble in a frothy sea of other universes, a cosmic cappuccino, if you will. In this scenario, new universes are popping up all the time, like daisies in the cosmic field. Makes you feel special, doesn't it? The eternal inflation theory goes back to Alan Guth, a theoretical physicist who first proposed the idea of cosmic inflation in 1980. The concept of eternal inflation, where inflation continues indefinitely in some regions of the universe, was later developed by Andre Lind, Paul Steinhardt, and other researchers. Then, we have the cyclic universe model. In this theory, the universe is the ultimate yo-yo dieter, constantly expanding and contracting in an endless series of big bangs and big crunches. Just when you thought you'd escape the dieting analogy, it turns out the universe might be hitting the cosmic gym more often than we do. The cyclic universe model has been proposed and explored by various scientists over the years. One of the more recent iterations was developed by Paul Steinhardt and Neil Turok, who introduced the ekpyrotic model, a higher dimensional version of the cyclic universe based on string theory and brain cosmology. Now let's talk string theory and brain cosmology. No, we're not talking about pulling strings to get ahead in life or the latest workout craze. Instead, we're delving into the idea that our universe was created by a collision of higher dimensional objects called brains. It's kind of like a cosmic car crash, but instead of broken bumpers, we get a brand new universe. Talk about a fender bender with consequences. String theory was developed by multiple scientists, including Gabriel Veneziano, Leonard Susskind, and John Schwartz. Brain cosmology, an offshoot of string theory, was further developed by researchers such as Joseph Polchinski, Lisa Randall, and Raman Sundrum. Up next is the pre-Big Bang cosmology, where our universe took a page out of a bouncy castle's playbook. Before the Big Bang, the universe experienced a period of rapid contraction, which eventually reached a critical point, and then it bounced back into expansion. Makes you wonder if the universe had too much coffee before that big bounce, doesn't it? This idea has been explored by several researchers with different variations of the concept. One example is the bounce scenario, which has been studied by researchers like Paul Steinhardt, Bert Overett, and Justin Cowery. Let's now explore loop quantum cosmology. The idea combines the principle of quantum mechanics and general relativity, like a cosmic PB&J sandwich. Here, the universe goes through a series of bounces, each triggered by the quantum nature of gravity. So our universe might just be a champion trampoline artist, bouncing its way through existence. 
This approach is based on loop quantum gravity, which was developed by scientists such as Abhay Ashtakar, Carlo Rovelli, and Lee Smolin. Next, we have the No Boundary Proposal, brought to you by none other than Stephen Hawking and James Hartle. In this theory, the universe is like a smoothly connected four-dimensional cosmic donut with no beginning or end, no initial singularity or boundary in time. So the universe might just be a never-ending, all-you-can-eat cosmic buffet, and who wouldn't love that? Another interesting idea is the emergent universe model. This idea suggests that the universe didn't have a beginning at all. Instead, it has always existed as a stable structure that underwent a sudden phase of expansion. It's like the universe suddenly decided to stretch its legs after an eternity of sitting on the cosmic couch. The emergent universe model has been explored by various researchers, but one notable version of the model is proposed by George F. R. Ellis, Roy Martins, and Malcolm A. H. McCallum in their paper, Relativistic Cosmology. This video wouldn't be complete without mentioning something you all love the most black holes. The black hole birth is an idea that suggests our universe was born from a black hole in another universe. So, while black holes in our universe might be cosmic vacuum cleaners, they could also be gateways to entirely new universes. Talk about cleaning up and making room for something new. This idea is based on the works of several scientists, one of them being Lee Smolin, a theoretical physicist, which proposed the concept of cosmological natural selection in his book, The Life of the Cosmos. In this idea, new universes are created within black holes, resulting in a process of reproduction and natural selection of universes. And finally, we have the virtual reality hypothesis. This one's a real head-scratcher. In this scenario, our universe is actually a computer simulation created by an advanced civilization. So if you've ever felt like you're living in a video game, maybe you're not that far off. Just remember, there's no cheat code for life. The hypothesis that our universe might be a computer simulation is not attributed to a single scientist or group of scientists, but rather has been a subject of philosophical and scientific debate for quite some time. But it gained significant attention when philosopher Nick Bostrom published his paper, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation?, where he discussed the possibility of advanced civilizations creating ancestor simulations. Keep in mind that these are just ideas and hypotheses that came as the result of the combined work of multiple scientists and thinkers. In reality, no one knows what happened before the Big Bang. The universe is truly a mysterious place, and the more we learn, the more questions we have. But hey, that's what makes astronomy so exciting. Before we wrap up, remember to like this video, subscribe, and share it with your fellow space enthusiasts. We'd love to hear your thoughts on these mind-bending theories, so drop a comment below and join the cosmic conversation. Until next time, this is Cosmonology, reminding you to keep looking up.